Hello and welcome to all my floss tube neighbors. I am Chris and this is Chris Cross Stitch and today is Tuesday, January 25th, 2022 and this is floss tube number 36. I am so thrilled to have you here with me today. Uh, it's a very special day because this is the first video that I am filming having 5,000 subscribers. I'm just over the moon, thrilled. But firstly, if you are a new viewer, welcome to the neighborhood. This is a channel primarily about cross stitching, but it's more than just a channel. This is a neighborhood, this is a community. And this channel is focused on you, my neighbors, my viewers. And the, the, the sharing of crafting and ideas and kindness that we have here on this channel. My channel is about you. So welcome to it. I hope you like it enough to subscribe to the channel, to like the video, to ring the bell, yeah, so that you can find out when I'm doing new things. And if you are a returning viewer, well, you're, you are the neighborhood. You're the reason we're all here and the reason I'm here. And without you and the amazing support of, of other floss tubers who many months ago said my name and caused people to turn their view my way. Here we are, 5,000, and it's amazing. So thank you for being a part of the neighborhood. Thank you for continuing to support what we're doing here, what we are doing here. It's a great thing. And I'm just so happy that you're here with me today. I'm starting out a little differently today. And I'll be honest with you, I have tried to film this particular, I have started this particular segment now. This will be my third take. And I hope I can get it right. Because I get to a point in it and I don't know how to proceed. So I'm just going to lay out the facts to you. Um, I'm going to do it differently than I tried to do it the first two times. And I'm just going to lay the facts out to you. My friend Darcy Cameron, who I know that you, many of you are familiar with, Stitchman Darcy on Floss Tube, hysterically funny guy, beautiful stitcher, amazing husband and father, um, and just a good human being, a kind human being released a, a video a few days ago after not having done so in a while. And right at the beginning of the video, he was talking about how he was going to face 2022 with a new outlook, uh, an outlook on positivity, optimism, kindness. Um, and when he gets into a bad mood or was having a moment of, of, of frustration, he just said out loud, I'm going to Chris it up. So he started the hashtag Chris it up. And then other people started talking about it on their floss tube channels. <laughs> some of them uh, uh, are brushing their, some of, some of my <laughs> floss tube friends are actually brushing their hair <laughs> and eating Claxton fruit cake. Um, you know who you are, Amber and Mary. And then, so I, I don't know how to place it. I don't know how to hold that other than I'm so happy. I'm so happy that there's a message that's going out through this little phone, taking root in wonderful people, other amazing, kind people who have a voice and have a platform and that it's reaching you guys. I don't care about me. <laughs> it's not about me, but it's about what you're putting out being picked up and held. Because if there's anything I think is true, it's what you transmit is what you receive. And let me tell you, I receive so much from you. I've said it before. I'm a mirror bouncing it all back. So Darcy, thank you for the hashtag Chris it up. It is an honor. 
I, I don't know how to hold it. I don't know how to say thank you for it. Um, and, you know, conversely, it's also not the Nobel Peace Prize. I mean, I'm not trying to make more out of it. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not trying to make more out of it than it is. I'm just saying how I'm just, it just means so much to me that, that, that what we're all doing is working. So if you're having a bad moment, I want you to criss it up. <laughs> if you're having a down day, I want you to criss it up. Uh, because I have it all the time. I have down moments all the time. But one of the best things I've heard recently is that when I'm even having a down moment, I need to, I'll remind myself to criss it up. So thanks, you guys. I really appreciate it. No 5,000 subscriber celebration video would be complete without doing the segments that we do every week here at Criss Cross Stitch. And one of them, the very first one, is the naming of Handstanding Cat. Handstanding Cat. Say it, everybody, with me. You all can, I'm sure. Handstanding Cat is the top of Tiki Tree of a Thousand Faces. It is a piece of teak driftwood that's in the corner of my bedroom. You see lots of things in it. And a friend of mine saw a handstanding cat at the top of it, which I'm sure that you can all see. Some of you also see Donkey from Shrek and Scooby-Doo, which I see as well, but we still call it Handstanding Cat. And today, the Handstanding Cat is going to be named, I'm looking at the wheel that I spun. Oh, okay, this is good. I'm so happy that this one came up today. Handstanding Cat is named by my friend and fellow Southern California, uh, Californian, Lisa C. Lisa C wanted to name Handstanding Cat Pineapple. Pineapple. I love that. Pineapple is a symbol of hospitality. Um, and I think that's very appropriate for today. So Lisa, thank you for naming Handstanding Cat. I do appreciate it. Uh, Lisa's wonderful, frequent, um, regular viewer, frequent subscriber, and just a dear, sweet person. So thank you, Lisa. Handstanding Cat this week is named Pineapple. I learned something new this week. Uh, that's another wonderful thing about this neighborhood is that a week, never a week goes by that I don't learn something new from you, uh, my viewers, my neighbors. And I learned this week that these amazing dolls, uh, these crocheted dolls, this one, as I showed last week, I'm gonna shout it out again, Jody, the creative corner, the amazing Jody sent that to me, blew my mind. I'm, my mind is still blown, it's adorable. But I learned that those things are called Oh, this is a hard one to say. Amigurumi? Amigurumi? Amigurumi. 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 You want to see how many more times I can butcher that word? <laughs> but that's what they're called. I didn't know. To me, that sounds like a delicious dish. But obviously, it's a crochet doll, and I wouldn't advise eating a crochet doll. <laughs> Not unless you season it really well. I wonder if anybody has ever tried to crochet with spaghetti. I'm serious. And now on to the cross-stitching. Starting off with a fully finished object, an FFO. That's what FFO stands for. Uh, in cross-stitch lingo, and you're looking at it right here. It is the month of February from A Prairie Year by The Prairie Schooler. This was, uh, this chart, all 12 months, was a gift to me, uh, sent by one of my dear viewers, my dear neighbors, and I am going to stitch them all through the year as part of this display that goes on behind me. This is my winter display. Um, thank you for none of you saying your Christmas decor is still up. This is my winter display, and of course it's going to change over by next week because we're already into February, and this is going to be part of my February display. I really enjoyed doing this. I never thought when I started stitching, or, or rather when I came back to cross-stitching last year, 
that this is the sort of chart that I would stitch. I just didn't see myself doing it. But that is one of the wonderful things about this neighborhood, the inspiration factor. We see each other's work and we inspire each other to, to do new, different, and challenging things. And I've heard so many people over the course of having this channel say that they're branching out, they're trying new things, they're expanding their crafting, whether it's going from Ada to linen or DMC to silk or sulky threads or, or what have you, that's amazing. It was so much fun and I really enjoyed doing it and I'm looking forward to doing the rest of the year. I might, this was done on a pre-made six by six wooden square. The, 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 the fabric comes already stretched and on it. It's wonderful. You don't really need a hoop or a Q-snap or any kind of holder. You can actually stitch just right on this, this um, right on the frame. It seems to be Fiddler's Claw that has the texture and the um, sturdiness of Fiddler's Claw. And I don't know that I will do the entire year on these, but I know I'll probably do several of them on things like this. But I'm very pleased with it. It's my first finish of 2022, and I'm proud to share it with you. Prairie Schooler, a prairie year, February. Today is chock full of stitchy goodness because not only I just showed you an FFO, I have two starts, not one, but two starts. They're both stitch alongs. Um, the first, Caterpillar Cross Stitches, How Does Your Garden Grow? This is a stitch along that I've been talking about for a while now. Uh, this started on over the weekend, January 21st, 22nd, and we received the first portion of the pattern. This is a kit that you can actually purchase through their website, and you can still do it. I'm gonna include the link below if you want to jump on the bandwagon. It's great. On a Misty Blues Weigart, this is going to be a, a all related to gardening, and I'm hoping there's going to be a gnome on there somewhere. I think there probably will be, but this portion of the chart, mushrooms, a watering can, a cute little tomato plant, and a few pumpkins. And when I started this on Saturday, it was my, it's what I stitched on all day long. I just had the best time doing it very whimsical, different than other things I'm stitching on right now, which I love. So I'm pleased with the start. I have a month before the next portion of the pattern comes out, and it's not a lot of, the, if you want to do a stitch along that seems to be a little bit lesser intensity, of, of a lesser intensity, I encourage you, maybe order this. It comes from the UK, so it's gonna be a while, but you could, even if you're a month behind, you could probably catch up because it seems like these are gonna be smaller chunks to do within a month. So couldn't recommend it more. I'm enjoying it. How Does Your Garden Grow by Caterpillar Cross Stitch. There's my start with those little Amanita muscaria mushrooms. Don't ever eat those if you see those in the woods because they're poison. They're adorable throughout all of fantasy art, but they're poison. The second piece that I began over the week since last we saw each other, I cheated. It's a stitch along, another stitch along, and it's not supposed to start until February 1st, but I couldn't help it. I couldn't help it, and here's why I couldn't help it. It is not my first full coverage piece. That's Lady Winter that I, I haven't, brought out in a while and I know many, uh, it's coming. But it technically is my first Hade, my very first Heaven and Earth design. And I was so excited about it. I don't even have all the flaws for it, but I started in the upper right hand, upper left hand corner and all it called for was 310 black. So I went ahead and started it. <laughs> but it is, it was a gift. It was a gift from one of my neighbors all the way over in Germany, my, my dear neighbor, Michaela. And she alerted me to this last fall that this is a sal, a stitch along, called the, where is it? Yes, hashtag train of dreams sal. This is art 
the, 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 the piece of art is called Train of Dreams by Randall Spangler. Randall Spangler. Can't talk today. Train of Dreams by Randall Spangler, charted by Heaven and Earth Designs, of course. This is a stitch along that is, um, there's a Facebook group associated with it. Of course, I'm not on Facebook for cross-stitching yet. Um, but you can use the hashtag Train of Dreams Sal on Instagram. This is a very low stress Sal. You're only their um, goals are that you should only do, you only need to do 250 crosses per week, 250 crosses per week, which is really only two and a half squares if you're working on a gridded chart, uh, gridded fabric. Um, again, it was a gift from Micaela, but another floss tuber uh, who is in the under 1,000 subs club, who I've recently been alerted to, is also working on this and kind of champion, champion, championing the sal. And she is Ilonka from the Floss Tube channel, Stitch Ilonka in Hamburg, Germany. She is amazing. She, um, I, as I said, I've recently started watching her Floss Tube videos. She's just lovely. And she stitches beautiful things. She um, is a proud, uh, a, a, you know, proud to say that she is a nerd just like me. She loves all things superhero and comic book and fantasy and all those wonderful things from our childhood. But she stitches beautifully, and uh, I encourage you to, to to check her out if you are so inclined. She doesn't have that many floss tube videos either, so you can catch up on her entire channel. But. Micaela and Ilonka are both working on this. I was so happy to uh, receive that chart as a gift, and I'm so happy to be taking part in it. This is a beautiful design, and I, I just love the piece because it's books. It's books, and it's, it's about all the imagery is, is so um, imaginative and, and, and colorful, and it's not large at all. This thing, when completed, is only going to be about 13 inches long by three inches uh, wide. And I'm sure it will take me the entire year. <laughs> but I loved it. I started it, and you will see a lot on it over the course of the next low these many months because I, I just, I, I was getting a kick out of just doing the black 310. So. Imagine what it'll be like when I receive all my colors. Mini Train of Dreams by Heaven and Earth Designs, art by Randall Spangler, and hashtag Train of Dreams Sal. I love it. You know, I bet you could crochet out of that, um, you know, this, you know, licorice, right? Like, 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 twi like uh, red vine. I love red vines, red vines. Uh, here we go. Red vines or Twizzlers? Red vines or Twizzlers? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's an Alabama and Auburn thing, right? Some people like red vines. Some people like Twizzlers. I'll tell you, I'm a red vines person. Twizzlers are too, are too waxy to me. Red vines are... Mm, love them. But uh, they make smaller uh, licorice like that, you know, that looks more like spaghetti. I bet you could crochet with that. Bet you could. And I bet you could, well, you might not be able to do a whole doll out of it. But you could eat that crochet doll. That would be morbid, but you could do it. See, why am I even talking about this? This, this is why people, I, I don't think you come for the kindness. I think you come for the cuckoo. I worked on one work in progress that you've already seen this week in addition to the two starts and the finish that you that you saw. It was a big stitching week because I finished this and then I started those other two things and I worked a, a good deal more on modern folk embroideries, Fruits of Plenty. This is a stitch along, another stitch along that I am sponsoring with my dear friend Kathy at the Floss Tube channel to Die House. The hashtag is still Fresh Fruit Sal 
because it is definitely still fresh and so many more people are working on this. Um, so many people are working on this for another year. Some of you have started it with us. Some of you fell back behind last year, very understandable, but you're continuing. And man, I, I mean, I thought I saw a lot of beautiful iterations of this last year. Some of you who are doing it now for the first time, just stunningly beautiful color combinations. I don't, I can't remember offhand who it is, but I'm talking to you neighbors, so if it's yours, my apologies for not remembering who, but one of you is stitching in red and khaki and black. And I'm not sure if it's completely khaki or completely red, or I'm sure it's not the, I'm sure it might not be 310 uh, DMC 666 and, uh, and just whatever other brown, but you're using a shade of those hues and it is beautiful. It is so beautiful. I love mine, but that one made me jealous. But let's talk about mine <laughs> for a second. <laughs> Here it is. I was inspired by the Delft pottery of the Netherlands for this color scheme. And the further I get, the more I'm loving it. The further I get, the more I'm happy with, with the choices. And the further I get, I'm also even more grateful that I had the opportunity to have a brief exchange with Jacob and have him give me some very good advice. You know, I'm mixing a strand of the light, lightest blue with my variegated blue for the negative areas of this chart. I'm using the royal blue for the dark areas of this chart, but with the, the berries, I diverged. And I'm using, and, and some of the motifs within this panel, I diverged, and I'm using either the, the solid light blue by itself, or I'm using the variegated floss for the berries unmixed. And uh, is, aren't those berries beautiful with that, using the variegation for some of them? I was very strategic about that. If you'll notice, I didn't really stitch in lines for some, for in some parts of that berry or those berries. I went diagonal stitching to shade it differently. And there's a tip for you. I don't offer many tips because, you know, half the time when I'm stitching, I feel like I'm flying by the seat of my pants. But if you're stitching in a, with a variegated thread and you don't necessarily want to have banding, go diagonally and change it up as you see the the variegation changing you might get some interesting results i certainly did with these berries i love them i i'm so happy with how that came out and i can't wait to to finish this i don't have long to finish this month before the end of the month but I'm going to do it because I am not going to get behind on a stitch along that I'm sponsoring. <laughs> so I'm going to, I'm going to, this is going to be my focus piece. There's a chance you might only see this next week. If I, if, if I, you know, if I um, stick to my guns and, and, and drive for a finish of the month, but there it is. Fruits of Plenty, Modern Folk Embroidery, beautiful, beautiful chart. This week, it was very appropriate in the rotation of my special segments that it, it would be the next Neighbors Corner for the 5,000 subscriber celebration video, for the celebration of all of you, uh, for there to be a Neighbors Corner segment. And in this Neighbors Corner, I have two pieces to show you from, from your fellow neighbors throughout the community. The first is from Cindy L who hails from Ocala, Florida, Ocala, Florida. And this is her piece, Bell. This was done in 2020. She, and this is a rather amazing story. This was done in 2020 after she returned to cross stitching from a 23 year hiatus. She hadn't cross stitched in 23 years. And she started with a full coverage project, <laughs> this one. It's um, eight by 10, and she self-drafted this chart based on an original oil painting by a friend of hers, a fellow Disney fan. And she self-drafted that chart and, and did it herself, full coverage, after not cross-stitching for 23 years. 
Um, she, she's just, she's very proud of it. She says, of course, it's not perfect, but she is incredibly proud of it. And I think she has every reason to be proud of that, doing such a challenging thing after not cross-stitching for 23 years and then making your own chart and it being a full coverage from an oil painting that a friend of yours did. So bravo to you, Cindy. And it's really, really well done. So I just love being able to share that with all of you. So congratulations to you, Cindy. It's a beautiful piece. So thank you for sharing it with me. This was submitted to me by, by neighbor Elaine D from Halifax, Nova Scotia, Canada. This is a bell pull from Satsuma Street, the Folk Flowers Bell Pull. And Elaine had uh, started this a while back and sent me uh, photographs of uh, when it was a work in progress. And I said, please send me that when you are finished with it because I want to see it. And then of course I started the neighbor's corner and there was no question that I wanted to show you. Beautiful, just beautiful stitching and such a beautiful chart. I've never done a bell pull, but Elaine, this makes me certainly want to do a bell pull. It's just beautiful. I love the darker background too with the brightness of the colors on it. And just, it's just so amazing, so amazing. So thank you, Cindy, and thank you, Elaine. And I'm sure many of you will want to tell them how, how much you enjoyed seeing their work here in the Neighbor's Corner. If you have a Neighbor's Corner submission that you would like to send me to feature in this segment, please send it to crisscrossstitch at gmail.com. I already have several more lined up that I already have received. And if you haven't seen yours yet, just be patient. We will get to it. I am not going to leave any of you astray. Um, I enjoy this segment so much. I enjoy the, the interaction with all of you so very much. So I'm just thrilled to be able to to give it all a platform. So send me those submissions and sooner or later you will see it here on The Neighbor's Corner. This is not necessarily a story time with Chris. This is just a, a, a little inset, um, well, anecdote. Um, no, it's less of an anecdote, it's more amuse, uh, of, a, of a amusing. I hope it's amusing. <laughs> no, a, a musing, a, a space musing. You get it. Um, but I, you know, this is a milestone. And I, you know, I talk all the time about how much you all mean to me, but I want to tell you a little bit about why the doing of this channel is so important to me, to, to my well-being. I train with a trainer um, every week, three times a week. Set up a little video and, you know, we, we do it over Skype because I'm, you know, in my hermitude. And, uh, you know, I, I was a professional dancer, my physical fitness is very important to me. And uh, I, th I, there's never really been a time in my life when I haven't been active. And as I age, it's more important for me to continue that because I don't know if you, any of you knew other dancers, but if we don't keep it up, it, we just fall apart like a, you know, a house of cards at some point. But anyway, um, one of the things that he said to me very early on, and I, uh, and I appreciate him greatly. He's a dear friend and a wonderful guy. But he said to me, even when you don't feel good, you need to show up for yourself. And even if you only do a little bit, you've still showed up for yourself. And that really impacted me, that concept. Because I'm used to showing up for other people, you know? That's how I used to be a lot more than I am now. But. I didn't feel good, I didn't want to do a thing, but I'd show up because I had to be there. I had to, I had to do, I had to do this for other people. I had to, I had to, you know, go to the class to please the teacher or go to the rehearsal to make sure I knew what I would, any number of reasons. But showing up for yourself is an amazing thing because it gives, it makes you realize how important you are. 
Um, and this makes me show up for myself. The doing of this makes me show up for myself. I mean, I do it. I, I do it to have the interaction with you. I am showing up for you. But firstly, I'm showing up for myself. And I, and I, and I, and I think about my Aunt Johnny May. You know, every morning, I've told you this before, every morning she'd get up, she'd do the whole thing, coiffure, you know, powder, <laughs> to do nothing more than, you know, Salem cigarettes and Harlequin romance no novels in the edge of night. But she showed up for herself every single day. She also showed up because, you know, people would drop in over at the house any time. You know, you never, in the South where I lived, you never knew when company was coming. Um, but she showed up for herself. So, thank you for helping me show up for myself. I just appreciate it. And I'm glad that in showing up for myself, I show up for you. So, it's a win-win. I'm kind of giving you I'm kind of giving you bionic woman, six million dollar man meets um, Mary Tyler Moore today, <laughs> aren't I? <laughs> Look at that swoop. What is that swoop? That's Marlo Thomas there. That's some that's some that girl curl. I <laughs> I've got to rein it in. Okay. And Yanni, I've been getting a lot of Yanni lately from you guys. Um, can you hear that? Oh, better be careful. Um, anyway, so on to the giveaways. Um, there were three giveaways from last week. I'm going to breeze through these very quickly, quicker than I normally do, because I've got so many giveaways of, for the celebration today to talk about. So last week, one, the first of the three giveaways was this adorable calendar. It features six charts, all of these bears, these little teddy bears. And the winner of this was Peppermint Stitches. Peppermint, uh, well, I, if that's your real name, you, you, you hit the jackpot because that would be a fabulous name to have. Um, but send me an email with your real name and address and I will get that out to you when next I send out my giveaways. And by the way, some of the giveaways from the last go round they're going to go out with this bunch because I needed, didn't get all the addresses, whatever. It, they're coming. Um, next was the Kitty Bundle. This is a, uh, a um, two different kitty cat charts. And the winner of this, Sharon Williams. Sharon, congratulations. Send me your email to the email address below and I will get that out to you. And third... A little bundle of smalls. The key word for this was smalls. You're killing me, smalls! Didn't know what that was from. Didn't know what that was from. And then some of you told me that it was the Sandlot. And I was like, of course, that's what it's from. But when I chose that word, I didn't know that that was from. Um, Anne Hancock. Anne, congratulations. Send me an email and that those will be on their way to you. So today... We've got five bundles, five, one for each of the thousand of you that are subscribers to this channel, neighbors in this community. And these are good, good giveaways. I tried to scale them all pretty equally. So I hope that you're happy with them. I'm happy with them and I can't wait to give them out to you. But the first, the first is going to be an amazing bundle of charts. And these are not small charts. These are all major charts. The first is Bovinia by Plum Street Samplers. The motto of this channel, Be Kind by Stitch Rovia. Um, hands-on designs, a waffle lot. This is an adorable Valentine-themed uh, piece. Uh, I think you can make a dual-sided pincushion with this or however you want to use it, but it's hands-on design. And Winter Birds by Twin Peak Primitives. So four amazing design companies, four amazing charts. Use the keyword charts, C-H-A-R-T-S. The next 
is the CATS bundle. Keyword for this will be CATS, C-A-T-S. This is a, a, a leisure arts book, vintage leisure arts book. It has 66 different cat theme designs in it. And along with that, another of these great Mill Hill kits with beads and specialty button and everything, another kitty cat chart, Sapphire. So this bundle is the leisure arts booklet and the Mill Hill kit, the keyword cats. The third bundle is going to be the kits bundle. K-I-T-S is the keyword for this, kits. These are three kits. One is an amazing kit. Uh, Bobby G designs Beware of Halloween. Halloween, a big theme here at Criss Cross Stitch when we go into summer and we do the hashtag Spooky Summer Stitch. Um, along with that, a card, a bunny card kit. I put this on there because you could probably stitch that up by Easter time. Certainly you could. And then also a kit of Christmas gift tags. Christmas gift tax kit. So that is the kits bundle, all holiday themed kits. The fourth is a wonderful book by Maria Kelly, Cross Stitch for Special Occasions. There are 30 different projects inside this book uh, for weddings, anniversaries, birthdays, you name it. There's a, there's a project in this book for it. So I was happy to offer that up as a giveaway. And finally, last but certainly not least, the Nautical Project Bag Bundle. Um, and the, the word keyword for this is going to be ocean, O-C-E-A-N, ocean. Um, this is a nautically project. There's a lighthouse charm on the zipper pull. There are floss drops in the shape of anchors and such. This comes with floss in a color labeled, it's marine something, I'm not sure what. Uh, there is an adorable needle book that goes with this and a beautiful square handmade wooden floss holder. The project bag um, was made by one of our dear neighbors, Stitchy Sassanak, who many of you have heard of. I've talked about her before and have ordered from, you have ordered from her. Uh, and I think this, I can't remember, tell me which of you sent me this wonderful handmade um, floss drop, the wooden floss holder. I can't remember off the top of my head. My utmost apologies. I should have looked that up because I write down what everybody sends me. Um, but that will all come together in the ocean bundle. So use those words, keywords in your comments. Those will be drawn before I record next week. Please be a subscriber to this channel. Please like the video. Please be over the age of 18 so I can ask you for your address. And please um, don't use any words in your comment that might alert lurkers to that and just come and, and put something down so that they can get something free. But a wonderful giveaway package this week, and you are all more than worth it. I have mentioned a couple of floss tubers who are in the Under 1000 Subs Club already. Amber of Rogue Mama Stitcher and Kaylee of Kaylee Cross Stitch both amazing people and I, 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 they're, they're very, very dear. Kaylee also is incredibly talented musically, a music teacher. So brava to you, Kaylee, for being a teacher. Um, and of music, so vital and necessary, gorgeous voice, Kaylee, and plays instruments and just remarkable. But I want to talk about another person that I've not mentioned in the under, under 1000 subs club. Do you remember this uh, snowflake, black work snowflake Christmas ornament? I received this from my dear neighbor, Mary Ann, Mary Ann J. And she sent it to me for a Christmas present. It hung on my tree. I loved it very, very much. I was unaware until after the fact that this pattern was designed by another floss tuber. Michelle 
of the Giddy Stitcher in the UK. She was giddy that someone purchased the chart, stitched it up and gave it to me as a gift, and I am giddy to share her with you in the Under 1000 Subs Club because she's wonderful. Michelle does many uh, crafts, uh, and she has, she's from the UK, fabulous accent. I could listen to it forever and really great floss tube channel. She's lovely to watch and I couldn't, I couldn't recommend her more highly. So if you haven't already, please do check out the Giddy Stitcher. She is in the under 1000 subs club. And I really believe in being, in, in telling you about these people because there was a time when I was, you know, that person and through the kindness of people like Michelle Bindi and, and Annie, the proper stitcher, Artie, the vintage stitcher, and so many others, so many others, um, you know, here we are today having this celebration. So go check out Michelle at the Giddy Stitcher. I'm sure that you will enjoy her. So that's my video for today. Again, I cannot thank you enough for this wonderful journey that we've been on since May of last year and will continue on into the future. If you are a viewer or a fellow floss tuber, I am, I, I have a debt of gratitude to you that I will never be able to repay. And I thank you so, so very, very much. Remember when you're down, if you have a, if you have a frustrating moment, remember to criss it up, um, because whenever I'm down, I think of you and I think of this channel and I think of all the wonderful things that we have done and will continue to do together. And that does brighten my day. I love all of you. Take care. And until next time, happy stitching. Bye-bye.